Yes! Woohoo! Back here, I decided to come back to the same spot where I was last night. I was in a market. Yeah, it's really, it's really yellow everywhere. I mean, the water there on the asphalt roads, the water spots, they are all yellow, like it's muddy water everywhere. And as you can see here, for example, it's all, it's just muddy water. What? It's raining mud, literally. It's, it's really, it's really dirty. Really, really dirty. <laughs> but yeah, I have to say about the color, the paint, it's been really good paint. I painted this with a uh, roll, using only roll, and uh, and the paint is uh, water soluble metal roof paint. Felti kattomaali. And it's really, it's really strong. I don't, I don't see, I've been driving in the bushes and everywhere and I don't see any major scratches either. And what's interesting is that where my dog is. But anyway, what's interesting that this front, this is plastic, this whole, from, from this line, the front is plastic. And this is aluminium. The walls are aluminium. And the paint, it's, it's the same paint in the plastic and in the aluminium. And it's equally good. I was thinking that because this is plastic and this is quite flexible, you can see this is the hood and it moves quite a lot in the wind and everything. So it, it's 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 fle flexible. So I thought that maybe the paint will rip off very easily, but absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. And because the paint is matte, not glossy, you can fix the paint very easily because it doesn't uh, reflect light. So you can you can paint it very easily. It doesn't it doesn't look bad at all. You can paint it. It's so forgive, forgive, forgiving, it's very forgiving. Matte paint is very forgiving. But yeah, if you are considering about painting your camper, one tip I have to say and what I would do differently is to choose maybe a little bit lighter paint just for the reason that it takes a little bit heat in the sun. Not much, but a little bit more heat. It's little bit warmer inside now and it's darker color so maybe like um, sand color like light brown or something like desert camo color or something or then a little bit lighter green otherwise perfect and and I don't think it's too dark now or anything it's good it's perfect but but if I would choose the paint again I would choose couple couple of levels lighter lighter color just just to keep it a little bit cooler so keep that in mind when you are choosing the paint and also I, I was thinking that if this paint starts to rip off I, I, I just repaint it and make it camo you know fixing it by painting different kind of spots making camo camouflage but it doesn't rip off anywhere so it's still green, rip off. I don't even know if rip, ripping off is the right word, but it sounds good. I haven't washed it uh, even once. I haven't washed it at all. Never ever after the painting. And even now after the sandstorm, what which we are having here right now, I won't, I won't wash it after this either. Little brown makes good. It makes it even more camouflage. I chose purposely not to paint any of these edges or aluminium uh, these lines here I wanted to keep them clean because it makes it look a little bit cleaner like that if I would paint all these aluminium parts it would be more more like army 
army style, like very matte and very like uh, cam camouflage, if you know what I mean. But this is like the cleaner version now because it has these aluminum colors. I've been thinking I would actually like to paint all those line aluminum parts to make it even more like a darker kind of uh, vibe to it. It's too clean and it's it's too good now, <laughs> so to say. I will I, I would like to make it even more not so good. I hope you know what I mean. But really, where is my dog? Nilo! I'm buying um, camping gas, uh, well, you will see, uh, camping gas stove, like this mi mini portable stove. So I'm waiting for the woman to, I don't know if it's woman, I'm assuming there is so many genders these days that I don't know what kind of gender she or he or, but anyway. I don't like to fry my steaks inside the camper, so I think this portable mini stove is good for steaks, just to burn my steak outside. 25 euros, including one, one bottle of gas, these mini bottles, mm, quite good, quite good. Yeah, I'm in, in Foengirola, next to police station, we, we have a meeting here. So let's see if she comes four o'clock. So let's see how is Spanish four o'clock. Is it four or five or six? Okay, it's four o'clock now. Let's wait. The clock starts now. <laughs> Hello, Nilo. Oh, look at this Magirus Deutsch expedition vehicle. So cool. It's so cool. Very nice. Very nice. Although I don't like the front. Yeah. I guess those tires cost like 500 euros each whereas my tires cost 50 euros each <laughs> hello Nilo again oh, oh, I'm just cool. oh, oh it's hot oh it's hot now it's been raining it's been raining a couple of days so it's very high humidity now the sun is heating so all the moisture lifts up and it's very humid yeah now i have a outdoor cooking gadget outdoor cooking uh, stove <laughs> I'm actually unscrewing my uh, roof lamp. It's actually unscrewed already. 
uh, because I have this. Uh, this is wall mountable <coughs> lighter. I can get a charger there on the above my bed. That's the plan. That's been the plan since I bought iPhone because iPhone 11 has horrible battery. I cut the cigarette lighting and made these. There's two pairs of very thick cables uh, for the roof light. I don't know, but I think it's a little bit overkill. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna use only the other one. I don't know what I'm gonna do to the other one. No electricity, I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, it's done. It's not beautiful, but it's done and it works. On today's food corner, we are frying chicken. There is some chili. And here I have paprika powder. So quite a lot of... Quite a lot of paprika powder. Like that. But the main thing, surprise. Orange. One orange. Cut it half and just squeeze it. I can't film now. I'm sorry. <laughs> They'll be afraid of my cookings. And then when you have squeezed the orange, you should cut. You want orange meat, pulp also there. If you make for two people, you can use even two oranges maybe and one important spice where is it i need a flashlight oh there it is cumin 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 cumina just like uh, if you love it put more and then just like a teaspoon or two teaspoons of soy sauce there is the orange paprika powder and cumin and soy sauce is also there so now you just mix it now you want to maybe a little bit let it simmer oh boy that's good and if you want to put salt put salt or you can put more soy sauce because that's very salt and oh yeah I put also a little bit uh, lemon pepper. Yeah, let it simmer. You can eat it like that. You don't need any potatoes or anything. That's, you don't need it. I'm adding some uh, asparagus here also because I want some, I want some asparagus there. So I add asparagus there. <laughs> I want it to boil for a while, like, five minutes, 10 minutes with this asparagus so that they get a little bit softer. I tried to look for asparagus yesterday, but they're on the bushes, but they were all overgrown. So now you just wait for 10 minutes so that the asparagus will be ready. And uh, then I will just eat it like that. I don't add any anything, no bread, no potato, no nothing. I just eat it chicken like that and orange and just like that the chicken will be will get a little bit dry if you don't simmer it long enough because first it gets dry and then you should simmer it more to get the moisture back so you know chicken is like that